Hi, I'm Eric with Matthews, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how to troubleshoot a solenoid. Every machine we build has solenoids that are used to control when we let fuel go to the burner and how we can shut off fuel from going to the burner in a shutdown situation, or any time you shut off the burner. These solenoids come in a couple different shapes and sizes, but the most common one that we use is this ASCO solenoid that you see here. We have a three and a quarter, a three quarter inch as well as a one and one quarter inch solenoid right here. So the reason you might suspect a solenoid has gone, uh, gone bad is if you're trying to start your burner and you lose your safety circuit. Um, if every time you go to ignite your burner, it goes through a purge and then you lose your safety circuit, the first thing we'll wanna do is disconnect the power wires from your solenoids. They'll have two red wires that are both, uh, one will be power, one will be neutral, and they'll be on any solenoid. We'll disconnect the power from the solenoid and then go ahead and try to light your burner. It obviously won't light because we're not opening the safety valve to allow fuel through, but what we're testing for is to see if your safety circuit still drops out or if it allows you to continue running just without a flame. If the situation improves with the solenoids disconnected, the next step will be to see which solenoid is causing a problem. So what we're going to do is take our voltmeter and we'll go ahead and test our three quarter inch solenoid first. So I've got a voltmeter here. I'll turn it to the ohm resistance position. And then I'll take the two leads and measure across my red wires on the solenoid. We can see on this three quarter inch solenoid, I'm getting 93.7 ohms. Here I have a chart that we'll include in the notes under this video. And on this chart, we can see that a three-quarter solenoid, three-quarter inch solenoid should have 96 ohms. We're very close to that with 93. What we're looking for when we test these solenoids is to see if we have either an open circuit or significantly higher amperage than we're expecting. So now we'll take a look at our one and a quarter inch solenoid. We have the same situation, two red wires. I'll go ahead and test. I can see in this case, I've got right around 52 ohms. And according to my chart, I should have 52.3. So both of these solenoids are good. If you were to determine that one of your solenoids wasn't good, you don't have to take the whole valve off the gas train. You can repair the solenoid by replacing the coil. So looking at the top of the solenoid, there's a clip. We can remove this clip and then the green housing will come off of the valve. We'll have this green housing, take the cover off, and this unit inside comes out. It'll look a little different on the different uh, types of solenoids, but in this case, this black unit here is the coil that you can buy and replace. So usually the solenoid can be repaired, assuming the internal components of the valve aren't damaged um, and the coil can be replaced. It's a much easier job um, than taking apart the gas train. So. Um, that's everything for this video. I hope it's been helpful, and we'll see you in the next one.